Hey everyone, welcome to Liftoff, the channel where we provide SpaceX news and updates and also update you on important developments in the space race. In this episode, we have updates about SpaceX's newest launch. Please subscribe to our channel. If you enjoy your time with us, please like us and share. A rocket the size of Statue of Liberty SpaceX seems to have gone a long time without launching or blowing up a rocket at its South Texas launch site. A little more than two months have passed since the company launched its SN15 Starship prototype to an altitude of 10 kilometers before safely landing the vehicle on May 5th. The SpaceX engineering team apparently got data it needed from that test flight because the company scrapped plans to fly its next prototype, the SN16, in favor of moving toward higher flights. Accordingly, activity to the so-called Star Base facility near Boca Chica, Texas, has focused on building up capabilities for an orbital launch attempt of the Starship system. During the last two months, SpaceX has constructed a massive launch tower to support a full stack of the Super Heavy booster and the Starship upper stage. The company has also built several new large tanks as part of the ground supporting equipment that fuels the massive vehicles with liquid oxygen and methane. Finally, SpaceX technicians and engineers have been assembling the Super Heavy booster themselves and the company rolled Booster 3 to the launch pad at the beginning of the July. This is the first full-scale booster prototype to actually undergo testing and it has passed cryogenic pressure test of its fuel tanks. This week, the company added three Raptor rocket engines to Booster 3 and told area residents it may conduct a static fire test of the vehicle as soon as Thursday. The road closure schedule indicates a potential test window from noon, local time, to 10 p.m. SpaceX founder Elon Musk has said Booster 3 will not launch, but if all goes well with its ground testing, the company will proceed with a launch of Booster 4. This rocket is already being built at a company's assembly facility a few kilometers from the launch site in South Texas. Whereas SpaceX is testing Booster 3 with three Raptor engines, a fully orbital version of Super Heavy will have 33 of methane-fueled Raptors. In parallel, SpaceX has been building Ship 20. This is the first of new generation of Starship prototypes with features that will allow them to ascend into space and then return to Earth. Much of the Ship 20 rocket is already completed in a high bay facility in Boca Chica, Texas. All of this work on rockets, the tower, the ground system is in preparation for the test launch of Super Heavy and Starship later this summer. SpaceX wants to make this test flight, which will see the Starship vehicle travel most of the way around the Earth before making a controlled re-entry into the ocean north of the Kauai as early as August. However, regulatory hurdles remain. In addition to all of the technical works and testing to be done, SpaceX still needs to obtain launch permission from the Federal Aviation Administration, which is reviewing the environmental status of the launch facility in South Texas. The FAA said as of May, it has yet to make decision on whether to allow SpaceX to launch orbital Starship mission from South Texas. What will your money get you? The aerospace tourism has dawned. Richard Branson blasted off in Virgin Galactic's VSS Unity on Sunday for the company's first fully crewed rocket-powered test flight. He'll be nine days ahead of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, who plans to travel to the edge of the space on July 20th in Blue Origin's New Shepard spacecraft. Meanwhile, SpaceX's private mission with Axiom Space is scheduled to fly four passengers to the International Space Station in early 2022. The journey certainly aren't cheap. Trips aboard Virgin Galactic's VSS Unity will cost passengers 250,000 apiece. A seat on Blue Origin's new Shepard craft was auctioned off at a 28 million in June. And the four passengers traveling to the ISS of the SpaceX Crew Dragon will pay a cool 55 million on head. The question is, 
what bang will they get for their buck? The ticket for Maxim's mission to the ISS will include training, mission planning, life support, medical support, crew provisions, and eight days aboard the ISS. Staying on the ISS cost the astronauts about 6.8 million a day, NASA told to The Verge in January. According to NASA's 2021 pricing list, it should cost 2,000 per crew member per day for food and drinks aboard the ISS. It'll also cost each person as much as 1,500 per day for things like clothing, hygiene products, office supplies, and sleeping bags. The unnamed winner of Blue Origin Auction will accompany Jeff Bezos and his brother on an 11-minute trip to the New Shepard craft. For their 28 million, they will be getting training, the flight, on-site accommodation Blue Origin hasn't yet disclosed commercial seat price for flights on New Shepard. Before stepping aboard, passenger must show they can deal with heights, walk on unviewed surfaces, and support up to three times their weight. There are a couple days of training in advance of the flight, a Blue Origin spokesperson said in June. Some of the training includes learning procedures for getting into and out of the capsule, a mission simulation, and learning techniques for how to move around the zero-g. Around 600 customers across 58 countries have already forked up to 250,000 for a seat on Virgin Galactic's Unity spacecraft, which will take them to the edge of the space. A spokesperson from Virgin Galactic said that the ticket includes the flight, training, and a spacesuit, unlike Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket. Unity won't pass the Karaman line, an imaginary boundary between the atmosphere and space. When Virgin Galactic's Unity reaches the height, passengers will experience several minutes of weightlessness before the spacecraft returns to Earth. That's it for today's episode. Thank you for joining us. Please like us and hit subscribe button so we can notify you when the next episode is available. Until next time, it's bye for now from all of us at Liftoff.